Well, the food at the Covered Bridge Festival has always been one of its biggest draws. Zach Stidham was on scene this afternoon and spoke with some of the vendors who have been a part of the festival for decades. Indiana's largest festival has a lot of reasons for people to come back year after year, but the main one you hear is the food. As the Covered Bridge Festival continues to grow, some of these booths have been here for decades, including Dottie's Cinnamon Rolls. They have been serving cinnamon and pecan rolls here for over 40 years, and this festival has helped their business blossom. Being a part of the festival means a lot to our family. We've been here 40 years, and every year uh, we always have people come up saying we look forward to having the cinnamon rolls every year at this festival. This is one of the largest festivals in Indiana, so we're very privileged to have that opportunity to set up and provide rolls to our customers. Robert Jones built and helped runs multiple cabins that house food booths at this festival, including the Cowboy Skillet, Sirloin Tips and Taters, and Hot Ham and Cheese. He says it has been a pleasure working with so many good people over the years. This festival was very small when we came here, and it, it just blossomed. And we have the greatest vendors in the world. Some of them have been with us 28 years. Jones says that this festival has changed him and his family's lives forever. It's been quite a story. We started with nothing. <laughs> nothing. And so the town, we love Bridgeton. We love Park County. Reporting in Bridgeton, I'm Zach Stidham, WTWO, your news now. Wow, that looked good, didn't it? If any of that food looked appetizing to you, act fast because the festival comes to an end on Sunday.